Hey guys, I'm Ashley. And I'm Savannah. And, and we're, we're the Bangator Bangor Sisters. So as you've probably noticed, we haven't posted in a really long time. So this video is going to be all about how um, we haven't posted in a while and why we haven't posted in a while. Yeah. Yes. So basically I got really sick and almost died. And it sounds really stupid to say that, but I really did. So about a month ago, I went to the doctor because I wasn't feeling very good. And he gave me a medication to help me get over my sickness. So I started taking the medication and a week later, I came home from school with really bad body aches. So I told my mom and she said, well, just sleep it off and see what happens. So I did, I slept for like six hours. And when I woke up, I had a really bad fever. My mom gave me some Tylenol, which helped with the body aches and I was able to go to sleep again for only about six hours though, because I woke up with even worse body aches so much that I was even crying. So my mom gave me some more Tylenol and I fell asleep again. The next day is pretty much just on and off, like sleeping, waking up with in terrible pain, taking my, the Tylenol and then going back to bed. The next day we went to the doctor to see if he could figure out what was going on. And they did a whole bunch of tests and they couldn't see anything that was wrong with me. They did notice though that I was really dehydrated and he said that I was probably going to have to go to the hospital to get an IV. But my parents didn't want to go that far yet, so they just decided that they were going to try to give me a lot of water, just through drinking and stuff. So that to see like if she could like not go to the hospital yet. They didn't really want to go there yet, so. Mm -hmm. Cause it wasn't like as bad, but and then they noticed it started getting a lot worse. Yeah. So they're like, oh, looks like we need to. So yeah. Then, so the next day, um, I was feeling a lot better actually, and I even ate a little bit of food. And so because I started feeling better, my dad gave me my medication again. About like three hours later, I started feeling really sick again. I could barely move. Um, my fever spiked back up. And that night, my fever went up to 101.5. So the next day, my parents decided to um, go ahead and take me to the hospital. I packed her bag and everything. That was... Yep. Um, yeah. My family was so supportive during this whole thing. Um, Everybody's like doing stuff for her. All the little kids were like making cards and stuff. So... Everyone has been really supportive. Even like our friends, like our neighbors and stuff, they brought us like dinner all the time. So yes, yes, everyone was super supportive. And especially my sister and my mom, I was so weak and in really bad shape that I couldn't even get up and shower. My sister and my mom were very helpful and helped me shower and get ready um, to go to the hospital. Which sister is that? Bum ba da bum. Yay. <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> So we went to the hospital. They did all sorts of blood tests and spinal taps and stuff. Yeah, they did just a whole bunch of tests and they gave me an IV. And then like, they just kept her there for a couple more hours and they couldn't find anything in the blood test. So they were just like, uh, I guess you're free to go home since you're doing a little bit better since they got her, got some fluids in her. So they brought her back. Yeah, so again, they couldn't find anything. Yeah. So they just decided, well, she's feeling better because, you know, she now has some fluid in her. And I was actually feeling a lot better. I could see a little bit better. So that was another one of my symptoms. So I had really bad body aches, um, really bad fever, bad headache, and my vision was really blurry. She had And according to my family, I was hallucinating as well. Like, I would just like, say like, oh look at that over there, and there's like nothing over there. <laughs> so, uh, I, and I was pretty out of it, like I don't remember that much. Most she of what I know, I, I, I was told. But yeah, they sent me home, and honestly, um, looking back on it, my parents said that they probably should have kept me in the hospital um, because of, of how bad I was doing, but um, it's okay. Yeah, yeah but it's okay because it still worked out. So the next day we went to the doctor again, and they did more blood tests, like a whole bunch more things, and 
I actually ended up with a rash that day, a really terrible rash. Oh yeah, it was so bad. She was like, she was like infested with like a whole bunch of bees and like got stung by tons of bees. Yeah, and we'll s or insert a picture, but a picture doesn't always do justice. So. Yeah. And again, they couldn't really find anything, but they said, well, maybe it's like this parvovirus, which is where it's mostly little kids. Little kids get it, and it's not very bad for little kids because, like, it's just like a little like runny nose and maybe a slight fever, and like they're okay. And with the it. rash, yeah, and the rash. But when they get older and have it, when people get older and have it, then it's great. yeah, so they have like joint pain and stuff, which is what I was also having as well. Um, but one thing he mentioned about this parvovirus is that um, it spreads really quickly throughout like daycares and schools because um, you know little kids like touch everything and stuff. But yeah. no one else in my family was sick, which was really weird. You normally get it once and then you're never gonna have it again. So yeah. Mm -hmm. really, yeah, it was really confusing because no one else in my family was sick or even having like any sort. of of symptoms or anything yeah. like that. We were all like perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. So we talked to the doctor that day about my medication though, and he said that I could go ahead and stop taking it because my other sickness was kind of going away. Um, so we, we did, we stopped taking that medication, but we kept taking Tylenol for the body aches and the headache and things like that. Two days after that visit, we went to a specialist on like viruses and things like that. The test results to get the parvovirus, to figure out if it was the parvovirus, um, were sent to like Illinois or something. So we wouldn't get those back for like another week. But this specialist said that it could be something called a serum sickness, which is basically a really bad allergic reaction to a medication that I was taking which strangely enough happened to go with everything else that happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so again, they took a whole bunch of more blood tests and again, I was really dehydrated on that day. So they actually did another IV there in the specialist office. So after that, um, I, just went I went home. After our, our doctor visit, after the hospital, I actually started throwing up. And so when we went to the specialist office, I threw up in the specialist office and, um, <laughs> and almost passed out um, while they were taking my blood pressure. So then after that appointment, and they did a bunch of tests for the serum sickness, they wheeled me out of the doctor's office and I went back home. I kept going to the specialist and um, we finally figured out um, about a week and a half later that it was the serum sickness and that the medication I had been taking to get over the first sickness was uh, like a, a stage three allergic reaction which is really bad, to that yeah. medication so again i had body aches headache liver rash pain. not yet no. rash okay, no. throwing up um hallucinations did i already say that one yeah. and um really bad vision like i couldn't really see anything there's probably a few other oh yeah and <laughs> another one was like i couldn't like focus or like um communicate she was super dumb. Right now. <laughs> I mean, not that way. She just was. But like, the doctor would ask me questions, and it would take me like ten seconds to <laughs> like think about what they said and respond. Mm -hmm. And so, What's your name. <laughs> yeah, I laid on the couch pretty much twenty four seven, and I only got up to go to the bathroom basically. But every time I'd get up to go to the bathroom, I would throw up and pass out. <laughs> Probably about two weeks later, we went back to the specialist. She said that I was doing better, but that my liver numbers were doing a lot worse. So she took us to a liver specialist um, at Primary Children's Hospital. He basically said, it's mostly just gonna be time, but um, he told me to go on a gluten-free diet and to take um, a $100 medication that insurance would not pay for. <laughs> so, <laughs> Look, yes. we d took the medication and I started the gluten-free diet. And um, there's more on the gluten-free diet, but that will be in another video. So two weeks after that, we went in for more tests and- She was like super yellow, like, like a banana. She looked like a banana. Yes. So basically my liver kind of failed because of the sickness and everything 
And there are a lot of other things that happen. There are so many details that we could add, like um, my white blood cell count fell down so low that if I'd gotten sick, I would have uh, for sure died during that time frame. And um, just a lot of information you'd be bored about. But eh. yeah. <laughs> Um, but again, about a month later, we went in for tests and my liver finally started showing improvement after the gluten-free diet and the other medication that I was taking. But because my liver had failed, I was really, really yellow. My skin and eyes were very yellow and Banana. creepy. She was like, so creepy. And she looked like a werewolf. <laughs> so... Um, along with that, I was also very, very itchy. Um, and basically, it has to do with a buildup of toxins in your blood because your liver isn't working, and that's why you get so itchy. Like, I was so itchy that I wouldn't, I couldn't sleep more than three hours a night because I'd be up itching all night. And um, I'd itch throughout the day. I would itch so much that I would make myself bleed. And I still have scars on my body from when I itched so much that it bled and scabbed over and then I would itch off the scab. Scratch off, not itch off. Whatever. <laughs> As you can tell, she's still pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> she's smart, she's smart, guys. But I only came back on the last day of school. I was finally feeling better to come back on the last day of school and I met with my teachers and they signed my yearbook and that was that. So, but again, I still wasn't like 100% myself even when I went back to school on the last day. I was still very itchy, very out of it. Um, I couldn't really communicate socially again. Almost two months later, I'm finally feeling myself again and I've started working out again and stretching and doing ballet, like thinking straight. I mean, I still have problems, obviously. <laughs> and um, the itching is a lot better, but I still, um, my feet really itch at night, um, but I'm able to sleep through it still. And I'm alive. <laughs> so <laughs> that's really important. Um, <laughs> bonus. <laughs> Yeah, but um, even I didn't realize how bad of a situation it was because I was so out of it. Maybe this is um, TMI, but um, the situation was so bad that my period stopped for a while and, you know, hasn't come back. But um, I'm so glad that I'm still here and you are very glad I'm still here. Yeah. So that's the story. Yeah. Do you I have honestly... anything to say? I didn't take it very seriously. <laughs> like I yeah, should have. She didn't. I thought she was fine. <laughs> but but she obviously wasn't. <laughs> yeah. If you follow her on Instagram, she explains a little it, bit uh, more of the yeah. story. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down because you're sad and almost died. No, we don't want thumbs down. Give us a thumbs up because she lived. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, be sure to subscribe and let us know what you think about our videos because honestly we need some support from you guys for feeling really stupid posting <laughs> these videos. It's, it's true. No it's support. True. Support. And we should be posting more often now because it's summer and we're out of school, less busy. Um, we have a couple videos coming out in the future. We hope to get a music video up soon, but um, we told you a while ago it would be our next video coming out and it like, still is not um but that's because our, really our editor close. has it's not really given us the video yet but we have filmed it so hopefully that one comes out soon i hope you get excited for that one and uh, more videos in the future so we'll see you next time bye